Okay, so for your bridge report, you have to complete this slideshow presentation. And disclaimer that this should look amazing when you're finished. It should be easy to read. There should be um, text that's changed. None of my words should still be on this presentation. It should all be in your words. So the first slide, it says bridge name, not type. This means you need to name your bridge. Bridges are usually named for where they are located, like the Adam Street Bridge. Um, they are also named for the engineer or they're named for whoever paid the most money to get the bridge done. And then right here, you need to have your name. And then again, make this look good. Slide number two has type of truss bridge. So this is where you would write down what type of truss bridge you have made. And then here you would have three reasons why you chose this design. So you should change this to say three reasons why I chose this design. So like remove that and then get rid of the words in bulleted list. And you would say R colon and then enter and then up here you're looking for this icon that says bullets of list and you'll click on it and you'll type your reasons type your reasons type your reasons okay and again make these fonts great then over here it would says insert a picture of this type of trust bridge in real life like the real world out there like a bridge that somebody would walk or drive on it just should not be the picture of the one you made or should it be one that's made out of balsa wood like a real bridge like one that cars or trucks or humans or trains go over. Then the next slide is trust drawing. Oh, back to this one. To insert a picture, you would go insert image and you can search the web to find your image. You can go on Google and copy and paste whatever you need to do to get the picture here. And again, get rid of my words. Okay, slide number three is the trust drawing. So you can leave the word trust drawing there, or you should say drawing of my bridge. That would be good, drawing of my bridge. Insert a picture of your drawing. It should not be on the cardboard and it should not be covered in plastic wrap. So this should be a lovely picture of your drawing. And you can use your device to take this picture. You could borrow the iPad to take this picture. Get this picture on here, like email it to yourself and then insert it. If you upload it to your Google Drive, it's really in easy to insert the image like you just go insert image from drive and then here are your recently uploaded pictures okay and then the next slide you have is materials used so here are the materials that you were given at the start your job is to figure out what you have used to create your bridge and you need to list it so it should not say three six four and twenty four because no none of you used every single little piece so what you should do is you go, this is what you were given, and you need to subtract what you, were, what you used. Then you also need to include the weight of any scraps that you cut up but didn't actually use. Like some of you cut wood that was too short, so it's no longer a spare piece, but you still didn't actually put it into your bridge. So this should be what is actually in your bridge. Make sure you also then include what you have left over, okay? Then you have your dimensions of your bridge, and it says use inches and grams, and make sure you use your units. So the length of your bridge, that is from one end to the other. The height of your bridge, that is from the bottom to the very top. The width is from side to side, and then we want the width only the bridge deck, so that's that space in between your two sides. The weight of the bridge, you'll need to come up and use the balance to get that information. And then did the bridge hold three pounds while sitting on the testing structure? So that would be a yes or no. Now we get into the pictures of your bridge. So you had to take the pictures in the photo box. These should be photo box pictures. So there's nobody's face or anything in these pictures. And feel free to be creative with your pictures. So like you would go to Google Drive and get your picture. So let's take this picture. Pretend like this is the picture. So things you can do to make your pictures, you can rotate them. You can go up here and you can change the position. Oh, you can recolor it. Look at that. You can make it transparent, not super bright. Oh, don't do that. Okay. No recolor. 
Um, reset if you ever mess up. There you go. Okay. Um, you can drop shadow. Drop shadow is kind of cool. Like, get creative with what it is you want to do. See, drop shadow is that thing down there. See, there it is. Drop shadow. Do some sort of creativeness with your pictures, okay? So you need the side view of your bridge, you need the end view of your bridge, you need the top down view and the bottom up view. And how you get these pictures in here will be different based on how you took your picture. If you are borrowing my iPad to take your picture, I'll have it set up so that it will automatically go into your drive where you should be able to find a folder or maybe it might be shared with you, shared with me. It might be in that folder. I wonder what those are. Um, but it'll be there. It'll probably be in arrow over, shared with me, where your pictures are. Okay? Now, if you took them yourself, I suggest you email them to yourself and then put them in your Google Drive. That'd be easiest. Then you have the picture top-down view and bottom-up view. And then you have the reflection that says, what were three things that were easy as you built your ridge? And just like on slide two, you need to change this to say, what three things that were easy as I built my bridge or three things that I thought were easy and a bulleted list so you'd have this, okay? And then you need ones that are three things that were not so easy for you, like what challenges did you have? And then down here, what would you do differently if you could do this project again? And then the very last slide needs to have six pictures on your bridge of your bridge. So you have your beams picture. These are all the ones that you already submitted on Canvas. So you can go to your submissions on Canvas and download the picture, or you can find it in your drive. Um, insert your picture, bridge deck picture, insert your bridge side one picture, side two picture, attaching sides, and the finished picture. And once you are finished with all this, you need to customize this and make sure that it's still readable. So here is the rubric that will be used to grade your assignment. So you can see it goes with each slide. So you have your bridge name, you have your name, type of trust, three reasons why you chose that type, a picture in real life, the bulleted list, so your three reasons are in a bulleted list. You should have a trust drawing, the materials list, um, the measurement with units, so that goes with like the length, the width, and the height of your bridge, the weight held, so did it hold the three pounds, yes or no, and then you get two points for each picture being included, um, easy reasons, your hard reasons, what you would do differently, are they in a bulleted list, the six pictures, and then there are eight points for changing the background, changing the text, adding other creative elements, like inserting different other pictures that are not your bridge, but things that are relevant to the bridge, things that make it look not boring like this. So all of that, making it look less boring, earns you eight points points. And then once you are finished, and the earliest you should be submitting this is Wednesday. No one should be submitting this on Tuesday. Wednesday would be the earliest. Thursday is when it's due. Friday is the latest that it can be turned in because that's the end of the quarter. So make sure you've watched all of this video and follow whatever the directions are next.